ever wish you could read minds? Well, not uh, in like a spooky, supernatural way, I, right? But like, wouldn't it be amazing to understand your own thoughts and feelings? You know, yeah, really deeply. Absolutely. That's what we're diving into today, folks. By passing a meditation. Yeah, it's a fascinating practice. It's not just about relaxation, although that's a nice bonus. Of course. This is about really getting to know yourself. Like from the inside out. Exactly. Yeah. And we've got some really cool sources today, um, really practical stuff about how this kind of meditation, you know, mm. can help you navigate, well, pretty much anything life throws at you. Yeah, it's about finding that inner peace and clarity. Okay, so imagine this. You're a detective. Okay. But instead of some crime scene, the case you're cracking is your own mind. I like that. That's a good way to put it. Right. So Vipassana, it's all about paying attention. Awareness, yeah. To everything. Like right now, how does your breath feel? Mm -hmm. Can you feel your clothes on your skin? What's going on in your mind? And get this, no judging those thoughts and feelings, just observing. Exactly. Just observing, like a scientist in a lab, oh. just noting those observations. Now, this might sound a little, I don't know, simple. Yeah. Maybe even a bit boring. Sure. It can seem that way. But trust me, our source material gets into how powerful this stuff really is. It's like, you know, you're shining a flashlight into the like the hidden corners of your mind. Yeah, illuminating those blind spots. Exactly. And that's where the real breakthroughs happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one of the things that really struck me in the research was this example of, um, I think his name was Sam. Oh yeah, Sam and his brother. Yeah, the brother thing. Classic sibling rivalry. Okay, so Sam is getting constantly frustrated because his brother keeps like borrowing his stuff. Right. Right. Typical sibling stuff, am I right? Oh yeah, totally. But here's where it gets interesting. So Sam, he starts using these Vipassana techniques, you know, paying attention to his breath, the sensations in his body when he feels that frustration bubbling up. That's the key. Yeah. Bringing that awareness to those physical sensations. And what he realizes is it's not really about the borrowed stuff. It's deeper than that. It's the feeling of being ignored that's really getting to him. Precisely. Mind blown. Right. It's a common thread. We often misinterpret the surface level emotions. Okay, so now he's got this like this new awareness, right? right? Exactly. And that's powerful. So instead of just like yelling at his brother, yeah. he can actually talk to him about how he feels. Communication is key. Right. Yeah, it's huge. So powerful. Yeah. And you know, it made me think how often do we do that? Oh, all the time. Like how often are we just reacting to the surface level stuff without understanding what's really going on underneath? That's the human condition, right? We're complex beings. Totally. But that's the beauty of this practice. It helps us unpack that complexity. And what I love about Vipassana is that it's not just some like band-aid solution. It's not about just like slapping a temporary fix on the problem. No, it's deeper. It's about getting to the root of the issue. Yeah, it's about rewiring your whole system. And the sources we looked at, they really emphasize that this is a practice. Right, like it's ongoing. It's not something you perfect overnight. And it can have these incredible ripple effects throughout your entire life. Oh, absolutely. Like imagine if you could bring this kind of awareness to every situation, that stressful meeting at work, mm -hmm. that argument with your partner, that moment of self-doubt. Instead of reacting, you yeah. observe. Exactly. You create that space between the stimulus and your response. So powerful. And in that space, you find freedom. I love that. Freedom. And who knows, maybe that's how we unlock our full potential, right? Not just managing our reactions, but like actually changing our habits, our thought patterns. Exactly. And that's the exciting part. It's a journey of self-discovery with endless possibilities. You never know what you might find. See, this is why I love these deep dives. Always leaves you with more to think about. It's fascinating stuff, isn't it? It really is.